So one of my most successful videos on this channel is a video I did about a year ago, maybe, called Why I Gave Up on the American Dream, and you probably should too. And first off, I wanna thank y'all for watching that video. Okay, y'all got the numbers up there, the likes was good, the comments, your boy made some coin on that video, so thank y'all. But more importantly, I put a message out there that I'd been wanting to put out for a while. And a lot of people got it. But even up to this day, I still get people commenting, disagreeing with me, not on the message, but on what the American dream is. So I wanted to do kind of a follow-up video, just kind of a real informal chat here in the car and explain to people maybe more in detail, like what I mean when I say the American dream. And I fully understand that different people have a different ideal of what the American dream is, okay? So me, I was born in the end of the 70s, late part of the 70s, 1979, grew up in the 80s, I'm a total 80s baby. Me growing up in a middle-class household in America, the American dream that society taught me or tried to program into me, not so much my parents, but society programmed into me, was the uh, house in a nice neighborhood, white picket fence, two nice cars, uh, you know, 3.5 kids, the dog, uh, you go to college, you get a good job, you stay there, like you're, you're a member of the country club, you know what I mean, like that lifestyle. That was the lifestyle that was preached to me, that was taught to me as the American dream. I totally understand, however, that if you don't come from the same background I came from, or perhaps you grew up or were born in another country, your idea of the American dream could be totally different. A lot of immigrants uh, or a lot of people in other countries still on that video were like, yeah, you gave up on the American dream, but imagine if you were born in another country, you'd want the American dream, you know, or like, it was like, hey, I came here for the American dream. It worked out for me, stuff like that. You got to understand that the American dream is different. You were taught a different American dream. You were taught the American dream. I would assume that, hey, maybe where we're at right now, the financial opportunities aren't as good as they could be. Maybe we're living under a repressive regi regime. You can go to America and do better financially. You can go to America and they got more freedoms. So that was your American dream. And I'm all for you fulfilling that dream. I'm all for anybody coming over here and fulfilling that American dream. I'm actually all for people fulfilling the white picket fence, house in a nice neighborhood, two car dream. It just wasn't for me. You know what I mean? I also get that other people born in America were taught different dreams. You know what I mean? Everybody didn't come up where I came up, the neighborhood I came up, the social you know scene I came up in. We're all different. So it is possible that we'll all have different ideals of what the American dream is. And here's the thing, the American dream is not wrong. The American dream is not bad. It just wasn't for me. And I made that video because I know a lot of people who have that same ideal of what the American dream is, is not for them. This ideal that in a country of 300 million people or whatever it is now, that most of us, are gonna wanna live the same way is ludicrous, it's crazy. You can, walk, you can walk in a room full of 20 people and they're all different. They all got different hopes, dreams, ideas. Ask any teacher in a classroom, she can tell you all the kids got different ideals, goals, hopes, dreams, they're all different, they're all unique. But we like to think as a people as a whole and I can only speak of America, I'm sure this happens in other countries, I can only speak of America, this is where I live, we like to think that most of us would be happy with the same lifestyle. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. And that's why I gave up on the American dream, my version of it, my version of it. Now, another comment I got, a lot of people were like, you are living the American dream. Out here doing what you wanna do, you are living the American dream. That's a version of the American dream but that's not the American dream I'm talking about. Once again, I'm talking about what I was taught as a kid was the way I should live. Now, if, if I think going out and living the life you wanna live should just be everybody's dream. Like we don't have to put American dream in front of, there's a little, there's a little like ego in that. 
there's a little like American ego in that to say, oh, you living the life you want to live is the American dream. Like that's just my dream. You know what I mean? So if somebody's in another country living the life they want to live, we got to put the name of that country in front. Or you're living the French dream. Or you're living the, the Turkish dream. Like, no, it's just living your life, living your dreams. You Like, we don't have to put our country in it. You know what I mean? And while I do appreciate being able to live a life I love to live, it took me breaking free from that American dream I was programmed to believe I needed to, to achieve to get to that. So I made the video. Subconsciously, for a, a large portion of my life, I felt that there were certain things I was missing out on. There were certain things I needed to do in order to be successful. Yeah, Tim, you got an apartment, but it's not a nice enough condo. Yeah, Tim, you got a car, but it's not a nice enough car. Yeah, Tim, you're dating, but you're not married yet. You don't have kids yet. All this stuff I felt I had to do to achieve this American dream. And then one day it hit me that I didn't have, not only did I not have to, I didn't want to. You don't have to, but you definitely don't have to if you don't want to. I didn't want to, I didn't want to. Now I do appreciate the fact, and I definitely wanna say this, cause I don't want anyone to think that that was like an anti-America video. I am so blessed to be born in a place like America where we have the freedoms we have. A lot of countries don't. We got a lot of stuff to work on in this country, but I will admit we got some freedoms other people ain't got. You know what I mean? I'm blessed to be born in a place where if I have an idea and I want to pursue it, I can do that and make money and support myself. Blessed to live in a country where I can speak on some of the things that we need to work on in this country and not go to prison for it. So I feel very blessed to be born in America. I totally understand that lots of people are trying to get into America. I have worked with people who risked their lives getting into this country. Literally work with people who told me about like how dangerous and scary it was coming into this country. I get it. I get it. Not bashing America. If you, if you can come to America and better your life, come on. It's a great country. All I'm saying is this idea that we all have to live a certain way or that success or happiness looks the same for all of us is crazy. And I like putting that message out there because I know so many people are still making decisions based on that dream. They're still selling that dream. It's 2022. They still selling that dream. The good news is now that a lot of people are waking up early and be like, wait a second. Like when I was a kid, there still was some, some truth to it. You know, back when I was a kid in the eighties, it still was kind of possible to have like one parent work and, and take care of, you know, the whole household. This idea that if you got, you know, if you went to school and you got to get enough job, you could have a nice house in a nice neighborhood. One parent could work, two if you wanted to, and to, and, and raise a family was still kind of true. I know it was true because my dad did it, you know? So it was still kind of true back then. It ain't really true now. It ain't really true now. You know, back then college was still semi-affordable. It's, it's crazy now. Price of college is crazy. Work has changed since then. Work has gotten worse in the 40 years since I was born, you know, 40 plus years since I was born. So many things have changed that now the kids ain't just latching on to the American dream like we did, us 80s babies did, because it's still kind of work. Now, you know, people look at their family, they're like, you, you selling this dream to me, but you ain't happy. You selling this dream to me, but you broke, you stressed out. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And so I think maybe that what might be part of the reason the conversation around the American dream, we have different views and stuff on it because I think that dream is kind of going out the window. So a lot of people don't even see that, but people, you know, raised like me, time period I was, they get it, they understand it. I mean, even some other people get it. There is this view and it's still out there a little bit. The kids now ain't buying it as much, but it's still out there. You can still fall for it, that there's a certain way you need to live. And one of the things I learned about the American dream was that it requires me spending a lot of money. Everything on the list is expensive. House, cars, cars, children's, pets, even a white picket fence ain't cheap. College, like all this stuff was expensive. Why can't we just tell the kids, live your life? 
do what you want to do. If you want that expensive lifestyle, go for it. If you can afford it, go for it. If you want to sacrifice, go for it. But like, if you don't want that, that doesn't have to be the barometer of success. You got people stressed out, anxious, depressed because they don't have certain things in life. They don't even want. That's, cra that's what's crazy about it. You got people trying to achieve certain uh, levels in life they don't even want to get to. Trying to acquire certain things in life they don't even want. Doing things in life they don't need, like bringing, you know, bringing people into their life they don't even want in their life. We all know people who marry don't want to be married. Everyone told them they had to be married. People who had kids early. Why? Because people told them they had to have kids before 25. People in careers they hate. Why? Because people said you have to have a good job. We all know people doing stuff they don't want to do because society told them they need to do it. That's what I'm talking about. About the American dream. And I'm sure whatever country you're in, there's some variation of this. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. It's not like if you die and you didn't you know, get a good corporate job or you weren't married by 30 that you're going to like go to a, you know a bad place or something like stop like there's no <laughs> you know you do what you want in this life if that's the life you want go for it but if not the life you want do something else what does it matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if your parents don't get it it doesn't matter if your friends don't get it it doesn't matter if the, if your ex coworkers cuz now you decide to leave your job and go do something else if they don't get it nobody has to get it because here's the thing, when you start living the life you want to live, you will find people who do get it just seem to magically appear in your life. Because all of a sudden you're going places or doing things or on certain parts of the internet where those people are. You just, it's just like people just magically appear in your life who get it. In the beginning, it might seem crazy. Nobody gets it. I feel so alone. The day will come when, you know, you find new friends. You find new family. If your old family can't handle the fact that, you know what I mean, this is the life you want to live. Do what you want to do. Marry who you want to marry. Date who you want to date. Make your money however you want to make it. You know what I mean? Drive what you want to drive. Live where you want to live. Don't buy into anybody else's dream. The country's dream. Your parents' dream. Your, your, your guidance counselor's dream. Don't buy into none of that. Don't be spending your money, wasting your life away doing stuff that other people tell you you need to be doing because they're just parroting what people told them. That's how these dreams get passed down. Somebody comes up with it and then each subsequent generation just tells the next one and it becomes gospel. It becomes scripture out of the blue. Two generations in, suddenly that's the thing to do. But if you stop, be like, wait a second, who came up with this? Who came up with this stuff? I don't know these people. I know me, so I'm going to do me. So that was just kind of my follow-up on the American dream. Um, I definitely want to say, understand some of the benefits in America. Definitely not anti-America. I love, you know, living here. That's why I be here all the time. Um, so I'm still here, you know. And I understand that, that, you know, people have come to America, greatly improved their lives. America's got its problems. we got our benefits too. But that doesn't mean I have to buy into the American dream. As a free American, I can do whatever I want. So for everybody out there hollering, you know, about how uh, amazing America is and all the freedoms we have, yes, take advantage. Of them. Are you taking advantage of them? Everybody who came at me saying I didn't understand about the freedoms we have in America, are you taking full advantage of them? That's all I'm asking. I want you to take full advantage of all the freedoms we have in America and come up with your own dream. Do that for me. I think we'll all be okay. So that's today's car chat. Um, let me know what you think. You know, still getting comments on the old video, but let's 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 get some comments on this video. What do you think? What do you think? Agree, disagree? Uh, what what is your dream? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what does your dream look like? Um, are you from another country? Do they have a dream over there that you know we don't know about? I don't know. Let's 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 start a little discussion here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back to this coffee. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all.